Hello and welcome, my friends. Welcome back to... Actually, I should have rested there. Welcome back to the meditation point. No, but, uh, welcome back to, uh, Bogata. And... Search for this holocron with the, uh... List of Jedi... Uh... Sensitive. Force sensitive. That's the word. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just looking around, seeing what there is to see. Um, which I've done a good job of collecting a bunch of these chests. I'm missing four. Which actually, if I look through. Here, I'm missing two ponchos. That's it. Um, so I guess it's these four chests are two ponchos and two uh, lightsaber parts. Not that I can check that right now, but. Um, <clears throat> But I'm not really want to just like. Oh, abandoned workshop. Do. Hmm. Just in the abandoned workshop. Okay, they're like right here. I guess I'll take a look. But then we're gonna go do plot. Promise. Not the path forward that I thought it was. Excellent. Hoping I can just do that. Oh, there's one chest. Oh. That's where I jumped across from before and fought the three, um... Big toad looking things. I didn't realize that was a secluded way there. Well, let's see if I can <clears throat> double jump my way up to it. Eh? Wanna, you want to grab onto something hey, there, Kyle? Well, I guess I can't find a shortcut, so I'm going up the way I'm supposed to. Darn. Oh, 
Hey, can fight me over here. That one has glitched. And you want to see inside? I'm okay with that. There was something in there. New poncho measure. Huh? Weather sensor. Did I master it? You know, Cordova originally created this weather sensor to help him decide whether or not to wear a sweater on his excavations. To his surprise, the data he retrieved showed traces of electromagnetic radiation in Pocano's pins, though it exists in much lower concentrations than on Zeppo. Cordova theorized this could be one reason that Zeppo chose to create their vault on Pocano. Wow. That's so mundane. I'm impressed with how mundane that is. Anywho. <clears throat> it's a good thing I didn't come up here sooner, because I need to slice each of these. Hey, BD, what's this? Another poncho? What is it, BD? I'm gonna steal lightsaber material. Cool. All right, cool. And with that, Can let's uh, move forward. Frogs to deal with. Mm. Sensing something weird. This is gonna sound strange, but I think it's the astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. <laughs> Careful, buddy. We still don't know how this thing works. <clears throat> Intriguing. To scan. Got it all the first time I was here, probably, but so here we're we go, checking. BD. Where am I? I'm not on the map. Built like a giant holocron. I linked something about 
around that wall. We're close. Let's check it out. Ooh. Interesting. I offer this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. Interesting. Talking about balance, always a good thing. The greater control we sought, the further we fell into ruin. I lead the remnants of my people into the great unknown, hoping that we will finally find peace. Feeling more like an arena. I shall teach them the ways of the force. Master Custis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the force? Gather round, everyone. Master Custis, do you think the Empire will find us? And not modify poncho. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna see if I could change the color and if we would then have different colors. Because you know what? Sometimes I like to mess with the game. So is that a vision of a possible future? Likely, maybe not a likely path. It's the Empire, but a possibility. The Inquisitors have found us. Master, shall we fight them? They're coming. Keep going. Yeah. To the trenches. Protect yourself. Snapshots. Force visions. Spread out. There will be others. Yes, sir. You can't hide. Got you. Surrender now, and we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your knees. Okay, fine. I'll go this way. <clears throat> what is next for us? Mr. Custis, why? I want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think that was the same chair they put um, Ray on uh, the Force Awakens. Good in a uniform there, Cal. <clears throat> A possible future. Had a bad feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Brockett then. A scant mercy. I waged one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the Force-sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. <laughs> Kill me once, I'll just get back up and try again. Grab me. That was nothing. Oh. Careful with that thing. It's been through hell. together no I'm going to lure them away and then I'm going to circle back stay with the young ladies Trilla may the force be with you master don't leave us Trilla what's going to happen it's okay it's okay Is 
not a force echo. The force nightmare. <clears throat> when the second sister encounters Cal inside the vault in Bogano, an unlucky maneuver places her saber in his hands where he witnesses the force echo of her tragic past. Cal learns Phyllis' history as Sears Padawan, including the disturbing details of her capture and transformation into the second. Revelation leaves Cal momentarily paralyzed, allowing her to steal the holocron and escape! Yeah, that was traumatic. Yikes. What's up out here? Is Borgato now swarming with uh, stormtroopers? Yep. Pretty much. Blaster fire doesn't really do anything here. So yeah, swarming with uh, stormtroopers. Unfortunate.
they're just all along my path back to the ship, which uh, feel great. Should I be concerned for my friends? Probably. I mean, they've got Marin to protect them. I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Seer. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. You won't be going alone. You'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Oh? Neil. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. Interesting. It's quiet. Too quiet. My apologies. I do not mean to distract you from the mission. You're not a fan of nature, Grease? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. So you and Sierra have been here a few times? Oh, we've been all over the place. Non-stop tour of the galaxy with her. But she's paying the bills, so I can't complain, really. Better than hiding on a scrapyard for years. Oh, that I can agree with. <laughs> I've seen trash heaps before, and that planet was the trashiest. I can't believe anyone would... Sorry. You're not wrong. What? Hey, keep that droid at a distance. I don't want it leaking on me or whatever. You see, granted. To the fern. I really didn't think there was room there, but all right. Oop. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
You're Here. making good progress, you Cal. I'm glad you're with us. Well, I've got a galaxy to save. Not an easy task. Are you sure you're up to it? I'll be okay. It's better than hiding on Bracca. I've been to many different planets in the galaxy searching for... Well, you. Unless we stop the Empire, we'll all be gone. Hidden or not. I'm ready. Good. You must have come here a lot with Cordova. No. Actually, he never brought me here. He did tell me about it. I was the only one who knew of its location. He trusted you. I suppose he did. He trusted I'd believe him and finish what he started. Hopefully he was right. BD-1 thinks so. He's one bright droid. This feels like a whole bunch of dialogue that I was supposed to have seen already because I came back here at different points in time. BD-1, keep an eye on Cal for us. All right, well, that was a whole bunch of plot. I think the next step is to go to this old Fortress Inquisitorius. Um, but I think I'm gonna do that next time. Um, well, I've been going for half an hour or so though. So, in the meantime, let's see if I can find those last couple of chests. Now that there's stormtroopers everywhere. Um. Alright. Two chests. Exploring. Agdo sinkholes. I'm missing a chest there. All right, cool, let's go over there. Yay, I wasn't sure I'd reach. Go get him. Oh! Okay. Keep stopping my attack. Just hiding. Got one there. Got one there. Didn't be one over here. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I've just missed something fairly obvious. like in this particular case I don't think I am Oh there's the chest Come on, just dip 
I was not ready for that fight. At all. Thanks. Hey, BD, take a look. Okay, BD, what is it? Contra materials. Sue me. That's pink. All right, BD1, we're going to match. Black and pink for the both of us. So, slightly different shades. Also, for both of us. plane done think holes done engine workshop done great divide done Pinog Mesa done Drain refuge done Great divide, uh, still again. Asian vault. Workshop. Oh, Hermit's Abode. That's where I'm missing something. Okay, let me get over there. Meditate. Rest up. Oh, level up. Heck yeah. Two options. First, slow. Or maximum life. Let's go with maximum life. Seer, do you have a favorite memory with Cordova? Our hollow chess games. Cordova was so absorbed in his research, I basically trained myself. But he always had time for a round of hollow chess. You ever win? <laughs> We'd go back and forth. Our approaches were completely different. Just when you thought you were winning, surprise. Sounds like you learned a lot from each other. In our own ways, we did. Cool. 
Go on, get in there. What is it, BD? Lightsaber sword. And an achievement for collecting all the things. Yay. Not that it really matters. Uh, it's nice to know that I have done it. Um, cool. Uh, Alright, then Ogano is explored. Which is good, because I uh, was afraid that we would pick a fight with the Giant uh, Binog. Uh, and I didn't really want to. It was just chilling over there. Unless it was. Unless I needed to go through it for some reason. Didn't seem like there was really a purpose. need to focus on trooper gravity I excuse me thank you um all right um oh god it's done huzzah victory throw um thank you all for joining me today that was fun plot and Glad to uh, explore the whole planet and get all the things. Um, uh, actually, I, would, I do want to go see what the Eno Cordova switch looks like. I go look at the workbench on the ship, and then we'll sign off. You should focus on your mission, Cal. Yes, yes, yes. Customize lightsaber. You know Cordova. You know Cordova. 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 Amina. Yellowy. Hmm. Ooh, that black. Let's go with Corundum. Now everything's good. Everything has some pink in it. Or purple. Alright. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I hope you are all having a great day. Wherever you are. Um, and until next time. I will see you all later. Ta-ta!